What's up, man? Just gonna ask some questions. Sure, go for it. Gotcha. Um, are you filming outside, right? Are I'm not gonna. Inside, you do require a permit. Oh, is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, why don't you go get me a permit then? Me? Yeah, go ahead. I'm well, sure I can give you a try. I can try to do that for you. So, yeah. I'm filming inside, too. Like that. Chief, if I may ask for a name, please. Sure. Why don't you give me your name first? Sure thing. Uh, Omar Morales. Omar Morales. Cool. Yes, sir. Now, uh, your name, please. No, I'm not going to. Okay. okay. That's fine, too. Um, may I ask for the reason that you've been here? Sure. Please. Of course. So what's the reason? I'm not gonna. Oh. Not gonna answer that yeah, either. It's okay too. What other questions you got, sir? Um. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's pretty much it. Cool. Okay. But if that's the case, if you have no business here, I do have to ask that you leave property. Well, I do have business here. Uh, may I ask what it is? Sure. What is it? I don't want to divulge that with oh, you. That's fine too. Well, Chief, if you're not willing to share information, I'm going to hang out with you. You're going to hang out? Yep. Let's do it, man. Yeah, right. I'm a babysitter. Yeah, it's pretty much just a job. It's not, it's not the just the job. That's just what you're making it, man. Yeah, that's what I tell myself. Hey, okay, Sergeant Anthony, it's a minute to just a heads up. The gentleman here. Doesn't have a permit. He is going to film inside. Don't worry. Six is going to film inside and outside. Doesn't want to give me his name. Doesn't want to tell me what business he has here. I've already asked him to leave, and he's refusing to leave. Appreciate your help. No problem, boss man. No, I'm gonna take off and you have a good day. Hey, you too. Oh, is uh, someone coming to kick me out or what? No, why would they kick you out? Well, you just you're said good. I'm supposed to have a permit. You're supposed to, but you're choosing not to. So. All right, boss. All right, chief. Thank have a good day there, chief. Have a good day there, sport. Just got shut down. Infamous Ventura Courthouse. They hate civil rights out here when people exercise them anyway. The district attorney spent tens of thousands of dollars defending a guy that gets in people's faces. District attorney is corrupt out here. Let's talk about Judge Derek Milan too. Let's talk about Judge Derek Milan who has a wife that works for the district attorney. How is it not a conflict of interest to have a wife that works for the district attorney when you're a judge? How is that not a conflict of interest? It is. It's a huge conflict of interest. They probably lock people up and then have a nice little giggle about it over dinner. Right? Out here. Ventura. Probably lock people up. Send some, have a nice little giggle about it over wine. Probably chuckle about it. So yeah, if you didn't know, 
one of the judges here, the one of the main judges, Derek Milan, his wife works for the district attorney and he just continues to try cases. How can you not be biased, unbiased, if your wife works for the prosecutor's office? How is that possible? It's not possible. Which way do you think the judge is leaning when his wife works for the prosecutor's office? Which way? You know which way he's leaning. Judge Derek Milan, look it up. They spend tens of thousands of dollars defending Karens that get in people's faces. Lying to juries. Manipulating juries. They're dumb enough as it is, they can't get out of jury duty. Now you gotta lie to them and manipulate them? <laughs> Come on. You know they ain't that sharp, they can't get out of jury duty. Out here at Ventura, outside the courthouse, filming inside as you can see. Already had uh, the security from this little security cart over there. He's still watching me. Already had him, what's up Lori? Already had him come out, stand here, try to babysit me. Called the sergeant and the sergeant was like, dude, go away. Said I needed a permit. That's why the people that have authority out here don't know any better. They don't know our rights. The people that have authority don't know what they're talking about a lot of times. Minneapolis, Lori, what's up, Minden State? Not only am I filming inside, I'm showing other people inside. I'm showing everyone else inside too. I'm showing everyone the inside. This is what it looks like. Walk down that corridor there. Those are the courtrooms. They got more upstairs. These guys think they can intimidate me. No way. Have a good day. What's up? What's that for? I'm just checking it out. You're just checking it out? Yeah. Have a good day. No way. Let's talk about the Ventura County Sheriff's Department that called me up specifically and told me they're going to target me. That I'm going to be targeted from now on. Let's talk about that. Having a deputy call you up and tell you you're going to be targeted from now on. Doesn't make me feel safe. Think I'm scared of jail? I ain't scared of jail. Go ahead. Do your best. Shit don't scare me. Fuck out of here. Judge Derek Milan with the with the wife that works for the Ventura County District Attorney's Office. How do you how are you a judge trying and sentencing people out here when your wife works for the district attorney's office? How are you not biased? How are you not unbiased? No way. I'm challenging that. Challenging it. Spending tens of thousands of dollars defending Karens that get in people's faces. Have a good day. What's up, Alex? 805. Let him, let him come out here and do something to me. Let him. Go ahead. I'm not scared of it. I'm 
not scared of it. Karen Cheek in the house, Metal Reaper, Lethal. Crazy corrupt out here in Ventura. Corruption off the charts. I'm not blocking the door. Look at this. I'm not blocking the door. This is where the door starts. I'm not blocking it at all. They might say I am to try to get me arrested. Security doesn't know any better either. Go ahead. I'll take some cuffs today. I ain't going anywhere. Clearly not blocking the door. These are the sliding glass doors right here. Sliding glass doors right here. And I'm standing right here off to the side. If you're a juror, take that seriously. Take it seriously. Don't let other jurors push you around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, just go with it. Ah, it's been it's been five days. Let's just say he's guilty. Why not? Mike D, I am upset. But I'm fine. I'm not yelling. I'm speaking loudly. I'm calm. I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention, that's all. Just bringing it to everyone's attention. Zohan, Mitten State, Dark Star. Let him do something. Hey, Matthew King, thank you. Much appreciated. Breaking the flaw, what's up, Rick B? Don't worry, you're on a bunch of cameras already. Just walking from your car to here, you're already on camera. Don't worry about mine. Recognize you have rights. Recognize other people have rights too. Freedom of speech. Freedom of press. We all have rights. Ventura PD doesn't like that. Neither does the DA. Dark Star 805. How's it going? I feel like it. Have a good day, though. Another person. A lot of people out here don't know their rights. Morning. What's up, man? How much? How's it going? Not bad. Hey, you want to share your story? Let me know, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can expose them. We can hey. expose them right now if you want. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> how did how has Ventura met, brought you to court today? Uh, well, it, it's a little bit funny. It's uh, it's it's for me, but I have court next week. Uh, but also with uh, my, my 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 wife, it's uh, it's you know it's really just a very complicated situation. You know? For we, sure, we, we, she was being harassed by somebody else, and uh, what ended up happening is they uh, they got into it in the, out in public. But they're blaming my wife when, right. uh, when in, in our former apartments where we used to live at. This this girl, she was harassing my family and my my my, my disabled son. And oh the, wow! And the police never did nothing about it. You know, that they were sucks. called to that residence numerous times, and uh, and then unfortunately, uh, about a few weeks ago, we ran into her just out of coincidence. We had to move out. We moved out because we're you know we don't want them problems with her anymore. Wow! And we moved out, and that was that was a few months ago. We moved out, and then recently she came down here uh, to uh, to pick me up from work, and we ran into this this girl just out of nowhere. 
and um, and yeah, they, they, we pulled over because she wanted to talk to her, and, and then it just escalated into something else. And scuffle. Yeah, it, it's, um, Do you know who's prosecuting you? I know. You know what? I don't. We're gonna find out today. But, yeah, uh, let me know, just, man. Let yeah, me know. I, I, I've been. I'm very. Uh, unfortunately, I'm familiar with the system. Yeah. You know, I'm 40. Uh, when I was younger, yeah, I, there was a bunch of times where I just felt that really, you know, um, is, is there really justice for everybody, you know? Totally. It's like, uh, you know, you're forced to basically, you know, these plea bargains, you know, it's just, it's just a very complicated system. And I it's, agree. Um, if, if you don't, you know, with the pressure that they put on you, it's kind of like you're almost forced to confess to something you didn't even do. Right. And it just taints your whole record and it just, it just uh, That's follows, right. follows you along your whole life. I can't even get a real good job. I got an all right job. But I can't. I want to get something better. But then, no, you know what? Uh, this, you know, this is on your record, and this, and I'm like, right. They have no yeah. problem ruining someone's life to get a conviction. I've That's seen that too, man. I've me seen it too. And a lot of my friends, and yeah, it, it's unfortunate. You know? Right. But sometimes, you know, people get you no know, probation, and then I mean, yeah, it just gets real. For much. sure. Hey, thanks for sharing, bro. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, thank that. You, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. I'm just gonna get if you have anything right you want to say, I'll probably be here for a while. So. Yeah. Right up. What, uh, what, what I'm still it? County Observer on YouTube if you want to check me out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, heck yeah. I like all that informant stuff. You know, For I sure. Try to keep informed with uh, with my county and my city and everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, cool, I man. Respect that, man. Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. Have a good day. All right, man. Thank you, too. Beth, what's up? New sub? Mini Apple, how you doing? Jeff. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? All right, how are you? Not bad. You want to sit on the bench? <laughs> no, actually, I just need to put my stuff away. Oh, here. okay. I don't want to block you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. Miss Semi, Philip, Kerman, how you doing? William, Marcy, how you doing? Firm audits in the house. So I'm out here at the Ventura Courthouse today. Uh, I've been here a couple times and uh, filming outside, I mean. And uh, two times they've given me grief about filming outside, talking BS about you need a permit. They don't know. They just really don't know any better. And uh, I'll put them on blast, man. If someone wants to come up and say something dumb, I'm going to put them on the internet, which is what I've always done. I document what I go through when I'm out filming, when I'm out recording, documenting any, anything, anything I want. I document what I go through. And if that means uploading somebody that's going to come get in my face, that's what I'm going to do. Melissa... Firm Lori. Gem Girl Richard. Whoa, Dark Star. Appreciate you. Caesar Ponce. Let's talk about Caesar Ponce. Ponce. One of the biggest Karens out there. Why would you give a Karen authority in a position with the district attorney's office? That's dangerous. When you give a Karen authority, bad stuff's going to happen. Dark Star. Karen's. Karen's in high positions. That's all it is. Mike D. Christina Ortiz. Good morning. Melissa Lethal. They're probably going to try to use this against me. Who knows? If I decide to appeal, 
if I decide to expose the Brady violation, if I decide to expose the Brady violation, for those who don't know, when I was arrested, my cameras were taken as evidence, even though during the trial, they didn't use any of it as evidence. They didn't let me use it as evidence, which is also known as a Brady violation. Look it up, Google it. A plethora of mistakes, <laughs> a plethora of mistakes from the Ventura County Courthouse, Ventura County officials. Richard, thanks, see you on the next one. I wanna show these, these people out here, I ain't scared. All this shit they're doing to try to intimidate me, it does, it's not working. They're, all the shit they're doing to try to stop me, it ain't working. It's not working. I ain't gonna stop. Hell no. Caesar Ponce, nope. He ain't gonna make me stop. The judges out here, no way. I ain't stopping. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to silence me. Mike D, I don't care if they don't if they care or not. I'm putting it out there. Putting it out there. They can care or not. There's got to be at least one person in here that's going to be interested enough to Google Brady violation. How's it going? I'm gonna get some more interviews too. I'm gonna dig up all the dirt. I'm gonna expose these people. Chicanito, what's up? Graham's Beth. I'm gonna dig up all the dirt. These people trying to intimidate me. Get out of here. They spent tens of thousands of dollars defending some dickhead got in my face, touched my equipment, and they defended him. They, they encouraged it. They said I was an instigator. Get out of here. Metal Reaper, what up? Marcy. Metal Reaper, that's right. Matthew King. Appeal has not been filed. Honestly, I'm leaning towards not filing it. Fuck it. Let's check out. Let's see what their jail's like. Let's see what the detention center's like. I'll go there. It'll be a good experience for me. Let's check it out. Let's go through the system. Put me through the system. Go ahead. I'll just expose it. Let's check out their jail, huh? Let's see what the jail's like. Hello. I've already been in intake. I've already seen what intake's like. Let's see what the rest is like. Desert, all's good, man. I'm good. I am good right now. Freaking good, bro. I just want to tell these people they ain't, they ain't scaring me. They're having their deputies call. Having their deputies call me. Trying to intimidate me. Tell me I'm being watched. I'm being targeted. They're calling surrounding counties to collaborate with law enforcement. Go ahead. Do it. I don't care. Do, do your best. Do your best. Minneapolis it is. I don't know how other people that have been through the system 
if they've gotten phone calls, threatening phone calls from Ventura County Sheriff's Department deputies saying that I'm a, I'm a targeted person, basically. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that or if that's normal here, but I'm going to expose it. Think I'm just going to sit on that information? No. Hell no. What's up? It's for everything. Documenting. Documentation. See the employees out here. Employees out here. Dirty D, does it? I don't know, man. My lawyer knows what's up. MB, I'm sorry to hear that. MB, <laughs> DK57. It's for documentation. It's for digital recording, right? That's what cameras are for. Is there cameras out here? I don't see any. There's definitely cameras in there. I'm here early. That's right. It was like a storm at morning. How you doing? It was like a storm on the way over, too. It was raining like crazy. All these people are like, who are you talking to, dude? What's up? Seven forty. A lot of the courtrooms open up around eight or eight thirty. So if you want to rewind to the beginning, a couple minutes in, I already had a security guy come out and tell me, "You need a permit." And they just don't know. They don't know what they're talking about. Eager, so eager to lock you lock you up because they don't know what they're talking about. And chances are, if you called, if you saw my video or Lackluster's video and called the DA, they probably look, got all your information. If you emailed them, they probably have your personal information, your social, phone number, email address, maybe your family. Chances are, if you called them and complained about what you saw, any injustices that you saw, they looked you up. They have your information now. You're on a list probably. Dang, got the Cokes? So I'm gonna do a walk walk around too. I'm gonna check out all the all the courtrooms and everything. Or not the courtrooms, but uh the outside. I'm gonna stay on the outside because I know the rules and I know the laws. You're not allowed to enter into this area with the camera. And I know that, I have the paperwork on it. Metal Reaper, probably. Dana Judd. Dana Judd, that's a good one. Let's see. Let's see if we can look in here. Oh yeah. Down that hallway. That's where all the courtrooms are. And uh, if you go upstairs, directly above that, there's more courtrooms. And I think there's a third level of courtrooms too. Chicanito, there is a order that I have paperwork about that there is no recording inside the courtrooms or the courthouse in general. And I know that. That's why I'm not entering. A lot of people, you know, you can come here and try <laughs> if you want, but 
you'll get stopped and told to leave at the door. So today I know my rights. I know what I'm doing. UK Transparency, how you doing? Roscoe the second. Tammy's in the house. Certainly has a publicly accessible lobby. What's up, man? You want to air it out? You want to air it out? What they got you here today for? Yeah? It's bullshit, huh? Yep, I feel you. Basically just a revenue system. Just collecting revenue from hardworking people. Hey, have a good day, ma'am. I don't hate any of these people. I'm not here to antagonize or anything. I'm simply out here exercising my rights. Freedom of speech, freedom of press. Documenting. Airing it out. Careful in there, they don't like people's rights. Careful. Huh? Just be careful in there. Yeah. Are you if you're a juror, take it seriously. Alright? Don't ruin someone's life because someone's pressuring you to. Alright? Think about the facts. Think about the facts, people. Frank Evans in the house, Golden State, what up? Dick Drone, Sci-Fi Bry's in here. Cajun Randy, what's up? Texas Independent Press, Beth Meadows in the house. Donald Bilby, Alex. Dark Star. And Ventura PD is some of the worst. Some of the worst out here. You should have heard him on the stand. Oh, geez. Officer Metz, dude. Beware of Os Officer Metz. He is ridiculous. Beware of Officer Metz. He does not know what he's talking about. He will lock you up because his feelings get hurt. Marcy, how can a judge here have a wife that works for the district attorney here? How is that unbiased? It's not. Jeff Krantz, look up Derek Milan. Look up Derek Milan. Derek Milan is a judge here and his wife works for the district attorney's office. He told us. That was the first thing that he said when I was in his courtroom. What I'm saying is, how can you not be unbiased if you have a wife that works for the district attorney's office and you're a judge here? How is that? It make you, makes you think a little bit, right? Makes you think a little bit. How can you be a judge here if your wife works for the district attorney's office? The same guy that's sentencing you has a wife that is prosecuting you. Look it up. Judge Derek Milan. Freedom of speech, people. Don't be scared. Just a camera and some a guy. That's it. Don't be worried. I, I like your attitude. Nice. Don't be scared, people. Just out here documenting. Because we have the right to. You're on camera everywhere you go. Know your rights and exercise your rights.
What is problem here? What's up, Golden State? Kasim, how you doing? Lori. So I actually have an objective here. I'm trying to get some footage of someone specific. I don't know if the DA has a special entrance or not. But, uh, yeah. Nepotism is the way. What's up, Mazanga? Yep. So, uh... Let me plug in my camera. Plug it in. There we go. Camera's plugged in now. How you doing? Documenting. Freedom of speech, freedom of press. Joe MG, how you doing? Have a good day, people. Don't be scared, it's just a camera. Plenty of them inside. But if you use a camera out on the streets, they will look at you differently. Not a protest. You don't have my consent to video me. Oh no, oh no. I don't have his consent, oh no. Going to jail, Shriek? Hell yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what the jail's like. Dark Star. It's all good. It's a good... It's a good experience. Education, folks. Education. Cack McGag. <laughs> yeah. Same. Citizens Broadcasting. What up? Tapatios. What up? What up? Kasim. Harry, Harry is in the house. The district attorney is corrupt, just so you know. They'll spend tens of thousands of dollars defending people that get in your face and try to intimidate you. Tens of thousands of dollars defending Karens. Manipulate and lie to juries. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? Oh, I'm just documenting, checking, uh, showing the audience what Ventura Courthouse looks like. Terrible. Terrible, right? Very. Why do they got you here today? What? Can you discuss anything? Yes, because. You uh, want to expose some of these people? Yes. You want to go? Let's go over here. A special job. Yeah, Derek Milan sucks, huh? Is that him? Destroy their family. Derek Milan has a wife that works for the district attorney's office. So what happened? Without any good reason, like if I was alcoholic or drug abuser or mental problem, yeah, they could give her order to restrain or to kick me out of the house. Oh no, and okay. Destroy the whole family. Okay. Okay. Now today I'm here to defend myself. Hopefully I provide all the documents, family uh, So they're trying to prove that you're crazy. That's what they're trying to do. They, they did. Okay. They, did. they without, succeeded. Yeah. They did without any good proof. Okay. And even I wasn't able to come to the court first place, but I went there for 
to defend myself and I asked Josh a simple question. He did not answer my question. Yeah, it's one-sided. Even, you know, we had interpreter and I said, I know a little bit English after 45 years in this country. Yeah. I can defend and talk, you know. Right. You know, but, so, all this uh, government judge was buried in this state. Do you know the judge's name? Uh, not top of my head. Do you know the uh, name of the person that's prosecuting you? The district attorney? Uh, there is no district attorney okay. in Gulf at all. Gotcha. Because uh, uh, they, are, they don't give you uh, attorney to defend yourself. Oh, wow. They, no. That wasn't an option? I asked them, they said, no, we do some, uh, take it, something different. Oh, wow. And it, it's just unbelievable system. And I, for what, three times I came here, and they played game with my document, my application. Oh, okay. Make it, not send it to the judge for today when I'm there, the judge can see it, what's going on. You know, yeah. and I mentioned it on the letters which my son wrote. It. I want to change my judge. Like, uh, you know, I mentioned it. I the study asked people a question. Right. They told me this lady is an honest judge in the court system. Okay. And I forgot her last name. Well, of course, that's what they're going to say, right? Yeah, of course, so, they are going to defend their judges. Uh, you know, uh, uh, is it possible some employee working here very honest, very cooperative? Not all of them bad, but... Good luck trying to find one. You know, it's married, it's married to judge. Judge, 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 judge. Right. And all the judge, not so bad. Not so bad. But I, I asked the attorney or uh, family help center, can I... Get the different they said yes. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, well, thank you very much. Yeah, man. And then uh, I know. I'm sorry. I hope your situation gets no, better, no, man. No, no. You know, and it's hard to defeat people that are actively trying to ruin your life, especially in a system like this. I know. I know what it's like. So, but you know, anytime if you want to come tell more a story about my life, my situation, that the. Do you have an email? Uh, my my email, if you can remember, it's slowobserver1 at gmail. I'm um, yeah. No, if you give me your phone number and name, then I contact you and my son. I could I could give you my email. That's pretty much it, man. I don't give out my phone number to randos. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that that could be. Good for sure. For Do you have a pen? Account. I could write it down for you. Careful in there, folks. Corruption. Lots of corruption out here. One of the judges has a wife that works for the district attorney's office. How is that in any way unbiased? It's not. S O O Observer. The number one at Gmail. All right, so that's oh, that's, that's, that's it right there. Okay. Slow observer, the number one, at gmail.com. Oh, okay. What's this? That's, that's a uh, gmail.com. Oh. G, oh, G-I. G-M-A-I-L. Oh, okay. Gmail.com. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm sorry. I hope it gets better for you. Well, hopefully. Good luck. You know, that's why sometimes men go crazy and shoot. No, no. I would make a note that they're not giving you a, a person to help defend you. Everyone's entitled to a, a defense, you know? And if they're not offering a public defender, that seems pretty uh, like a violation, man. Seems pretty bad.
I know there's a lot of people here today. Driving up, it was like the storm of the century, man. It was coming down hard. Lots of rain. Right. Yep. Good luck, man. Cheap show. I'm reading comments, everyone. I'm not like talking. <laughs> I'm not calling you guys names. I'm just reading comments. No bones. Lethal. Press without pressure. Beth. What's up, everybody? Out here in uh, Ventura at the courthouse. There's a line forming. What's up, everybody? You have rights. You have rights. Use them. Know your rights. Contract that's up. You have a contract up? Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what this the is court, for. The court employees have a contract up and uh, we need to be paid. Oh, wow. We furloughed all. Wow. And we're hurting. Air it out. We're Air it out. Let them know. We're hurting. That's yeah. crazy. That's Got unpaid employees. Strong. Well, underpaid. Underpaid. Good luck. If you're a juror, take it seriously. Take it seriously. Don't fall to the pressure of another juror. Think about the facts of the case. Don't ruin someone's life because someone's pressuring you to. Take it seriously. Dark Star, you got a problem, bruh? I'm talking to the comments. It's not. Angel. Be a good juror, folks, if you're here for the jury. Just be a juror. Know your rights and exercise them. I'm going to walk around. You guys have a good day. It's just the camera. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You really got to calm people's nerves when you walk around with a camera. It's crazy. I don't like cameras. You don't like cameras? Yep. Why do they got you here today, man? Huh? Messing with you or what? I'm not mine. Go ahead. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna run away. Marcy. David, Daniel Lee, Tapatios. What's going on in here? Making them all line up. Making them all line up. <clears throat> they already tried to tell me I couldn't do this because they don't know any better. Everyone, we have rights. Exercise your rights, people. And just know them. If you don't want to exercise them, just know your rights. Freedom of speech. You can't be arrested for saying something unless it's like uh, something offensive, I guess. I don't take my word at that one. You could say some dumb stuff that can get you arrested. But there is freedom of speech. It's not legal advice. It's not legal advice. Why do they got you here today, man? Why do they got you here today? Why'd they make you come to court? You don't want to discuss it? Tickets, BS? Yeah, it's yeah. Bullshit, it's bullshit. I feel you, man. I feel you. Bullshit. I'm not in line. Go ahead. Uh, just exposing the corruption out here, man. 
It's, it's crazy. One of the judges has a wife that works for the district attorney's office. So there's a judge sentencing people while he has a wife that is prosecuting people. And they all work here for the same county. How is he supposed to be unbiased? Judge Derek Milan, look it up. It's crazy. Yeah. This is the entrance to the courthouse right here. Did you want to air anything out? I just have no idea. A frauditor? A frauditor? Yeah. Are you part of the fraudience? These people just come to the rest. Uh-oh. We got a Karen with the little wheelie thing. I can't care about you. Oh, you're Gabriel Rojas. Yeah, you're that's me. You're the guy who pepper sprayed somebody. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. And you're a Karen. I'm Gabriel Rojas. That's me. 45 days. 45 days. Good luck there, Karen. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Just harassing people? Gotcha. I feel sorry for you. There's definitely Karen mentality there. No, I feel you. I feel you. But I like exposing the behavior like this, too. It's like people need to see, you know? People need to see. Oh, jeez. Don't waste your time on me. <laughs> She's going to make the cut for sure. There's going to be a video about you. I'll upload it later on. It's that kind of mentality that needs to be exposed. It doesn't bother me at all. She could call me names all she wants. But she's saying I'm here to harass people. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm not here harassing people. I have a camera. I'm documenting the courthouse. All I'm doing. Uh, I don't think so. Dang, she was gross. All good, all good. You guys want to air anything out? Anyone want to discuss why they're here today? Some BS? No? Got an audience. You could let them know. You could expose them. Let me know. We could air it out. We can go over there. It doesn't have to be right here. Discuss your case. If you feel like it, nothing personal, no personal information. I was put through the system too, and they, they got me. As that Karen in there will tell you. <laughs> Gotta stop the Karens, folks. Cut that mentality out, it's no good, it's toxic. Know your rights and exercise them. If you're a juror, take it seriously. Don't fall pressure to another juror. Think about the facts of the case. They'll tell you that. They'll tell you that inside. Anyways, let's go walk around. Hey, maybe I'll... Maybe I'm already famous out here. Maybe I'll get another uh, another Karen to come like dox me in front of everybody. That was funny. More than anything, that was funny. What's up, Knowledge is Power? L.A. Eat your broccoli. What up, what up? So I came out here today because I've received a phone call from a, a deputy, Deputy Keeter. Deputy Matthew Keeter out here at the Ventura County Sheriff's Department. And uh, he basically tried to intimidate me. He told me I'm going to be targeted from now on. He told me that he's he's 
contacted surrounding counties to let them know to keep an eye out. And they're trying to scare me. They're trying to silence me. It's not going to work. I'm going to come at them harder and expose everything. They're trying to shut us down. They're saying what I'm doing is antagonizing. Hell no. They just don't know me. They just lie to juries. Deputy Matthew Keeter. He's probably watching. Is he watching? You watching, Matthew? I got your info. I'll see you later when I'm in jail, bro. <laughs> I ain't scared. Go ahead, bring it on. Bring it on. Sorry, I can't see the comments right now. What's up, good citizen? Shit don't scare me. I'll put that Karen up, the Karen video up. If you didn't see it, probably about five minutes back. One of the grossest Karens <laughs> I've seen in a while. <sighs> so uh, I want to get a shot of the, the courtroom like hallway out here. because I walk around with the camera and document what I go through. I'll document anyone that approaches me. <laughs> it's a hobby, it's a passion. Education, get educated folks. Don't switch into Karen mode that quick. Try to keep that Karen under wraps if you can. Lulu West, Matthew King. I think I have to go around another one. Oh no, it's over here. It's right over here. This is it right here. Courtroom 14. No, that's 13 right there. 14 is right over there. Can't really see it. Gotta keep an eye on these people. Hey, thanks, Sheep Show. Appreciate you, man. Get some donuts and eat them in front of the cops. <laughs> Dang. Hell yeah, let them be triggered. Children are triggered, is that right? Every day. Every time someone sees me walking around and I have a camera, if I'm documenting something, if it's for news, if it's a cop watch, if I'm investigating something, somebody's gonna get mad. And shit, I expose it. Oh yeah. I'll expose anyone that does that. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Get out of here. Marcy, Canada is watching. Realist.
What time is it? 8.14. Courts usually open up around uh, 8.30, I think. Some of them open up at 9. It depends. But uh, these people ain't going to stop me. That's why I'm here. They ain't going to stop me. Hell no. I'm not scared. I'm not intimidated by these people and their threats. And that's what I, you know, I want to show you guys. This is how you stand up to it. Just come at them harder. Expose the judge that has a DA wife. Expose them. Expose Derek Milan, who has a wife that works for the district attorney's office. How is that not a conflict of interest? You're the judge sentencing people, and your wife works for the prosecution. How does that work? Of course he's going to be biased. They probably laugh about it over dinner. Just some information. Probably have a nice little chuckle about it with a nice glass of wine. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, we locked up this guy today. Ha ha ha. Anyways, let's check check the comments. How's everyone doing? How's everybody doing out here? Realistic gel. Matthew King, ballistic gel. Lori's in the house. Ed Smith, Daniel Lee. Firm, better than you, LOL. Is that right? Is that right, Firm? Is that funny? <laughs> Is that funny, Firm? What's up, everybody? Evian, Eric, Baldez, Rob N, eat your broccoli. That's right. Broccoli's bomb. I, I'll tell you guys, I love broccoli. Mini apple. Love me some broccoli on a rice bowl in a rice bowl with some chicken hell yeah man that's my jam right there what's up joe free i'm out here at uh, ventura at the courthouse today filming inside filming whatever i can see from the outside because cameras are not uh permitted inside the courthouse so just checking it out folks Broccoli and cheese? Dang. Pretty slow. <sighs> Picture perfect auditor was arrested last night in Tucson. Donna, is that right? JMC, way too much time in there. Is that right? Jeff Krantz, exposure. Hello. How you doing? Awesome. Thanks, Lori. Appreciate you. You already said that three times. Who said that? KRW live on patrol. Sheep showed up. Joe Blow in the house. I am not going to prison. But uh hey, if there's a time for me to let me let me turn this around. If there's a time, if there comes a time when I have to go to jail or something like that, I'll bring you guys with me. I'll live stream all the way up until I'm like in the doors. I'll bring you guys along. I don't care. Bring it on. If there comes a time when I have to do that, hell yeah. Let's go together. <laughs> Don't scare me. I'm trying to villainize me. What's up, man? 
Lion one. Roach. Matthew King. I'm surprised the live hasn't like buffered. Maybe it's buffering. I don't know. But uh, it's been good on my end. Harry Nuts, appreciate you. Thank you. I'm going to do some cop watching out here too. Keep the... Keep them accountable. Any kind of emergency response, I'll be there. Oh, we got employees? You guys have a good day. You work here or what? Oh, I think he, his butt might be a little hurt. Sir, your camera is hurting my butt. Dang. Excuse me, sir, your camera hurts me. Ow! Keeper of the lists. Mess with this game? Oh, did I C-block him? I C-blocked him. My bad, dude. Shh. I didn't even think about that. You know what? I believe there is a employees only lot over here. Let's check it out. An employees only parking lot. Let's check it out. Let's see what kind of whips they're rolling with. What kind of rides they're working with out here in Ventura? That's the administration office right there. What's up, man? Oh, oh no, what is that? It's a camera. Uh oh. Look out, there's cameras. Look out, folks, there's cameras. I think this is the lot over here. Hello? Hey, where's the employee, like, government parking section? Oh, employee? Yeah. So... For the courthouse. Depends. Oh, for the courthouse. Or, you know, just the administration. So, management is over there. Over there? <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Thank so you. you. can, you know, can park anywhere. You just have to, you know, obey the signs. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. Obey the signs. It's Gabriel Rojas. <laughs> that lady said that. That's funny. Christian Strombold's in the house? Park anywhere. Nah, you can get your shit towed. Oh, yeah, I think this is it. This is the management section. Let's check out the management section. First, let's go look at the signs to the entrance of the management section. Just in case. It's Gabriel Rojas. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, you pepper sprayed somebody. Yup. Yeah, I did. I'm, fa I'm famous from Karen's Darren's and from the supporters. Ah, uh, that sounded pretty, uh, pretty braggy. I didn't mean to be braggy. But it's true, man. People will spot me. People be spotting me. Reserve parking by permit only. Ventura County Ordinance number 40035. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's go check it out. I can't, it's kind of hard to see the comments right now. Process. <sighs> Security?
Uh, the county van right there. What's up, external? How's it going? Doing good, man. What? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you saw me last time? <laughs> I'm famous. I know, man. I know. <laughs> it's all right, you know. I'm still doing my thing. This is, It's not going to stop me. So, yup. That's right. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, I appreciate you. I like your attitude. Hell yeah. Well, the thing is, like, management, prosecution, they all see me as, like, an antagonizer. I walk around trying to get views, and it's BS. I hate that attitude, so I expose it. All right, man. Got the Audi, got the Nissan. Honda, Honda Insight. Oh, Lexus. Got the Dodge. Restricted parking over here. What's up? Security takes notes, huh? Hell yeah, bro. Orc TV, what up? Good citizen. Got the Buick. Uh-oh, who's got the Sadie's? The Sadie at the end? Dang. Got the E550 Mercedes at the end? Got the Suburban right here. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, go for it. I encourage it. Yeah, get your phone out. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. <laughs> What's your name? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You're recording my license plate? That's license. I mean, it's in the shot. Yeah, that's true. So that's privacy. Oh, is that privacy? Yeah. That's and you work privacy. here? Your upper management here at the Ventura County Government Center? Wow. Know your rights. That's all I that's the only advice I have for you. Know your rights. Jeez. Upper management Karen? <laughs> I'm not gonna check her, Vin. Paul. You're recording me, so I'm gonna record you too. Cool. Do it. I don't care. Shit, oh no! Please don't! I'll record me too! Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? I'm out here in Ventura. Doing my thing. Alright, cool. Everyone's recorded now. Dang, she's an auditor? She was, she was auditing me? She just audited me. I got audited. Freaking fraud her over here. You're recording me, so I'm gonna record you too. Uh, okay, have fun. Right? <laughs> like I give a man. Now she's gonna go tell the. She's gonna go tell the security or something. He has a camera out there and he's walking around with it. He might have my plate. He might have my, my license plates on his device. He's carrying a device. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a camera. It might be a weapon. I don't know. He's got a long stick. <laughs> He's got a long stick and he's carrying it with him.
So yeah, I wanted to check out the government only parking restricted lot over here. Of course there's a Karen. Of course. She had that Primo park spot too. I wonder if that one's like specifically for her or what? Sheep Show, Katie Kidman, is that right? Got the Tundra, got the Acura over here. Got the Yoda. Bunch of Yodas everywhere. Katie Kidman in the house, how you doing? Harry Nitz. Let's go over by this door over here. Let's see what's up with this door that the employees are going in. Go ahead and pass. I'm not rude. Go ahead. I ain't rude. I'll let you pass. Uh oh, they're all coming in. Dang. Clocking in late. Security's chilling up there. He was cool. That was a cool security guy. So uh, yeah, a couple of reasons to be here today. All business related. <laughs> Let's see what these signs say. Caution, uneven grade, watch your step. Access card only. Masks strongly recommended. Authorized personnel only. All pickup and deliveries must use freight elevator. Fire regulations. Camera. Authorized personnel only in there. Public works. Angel, what up? How you doing? Wes. Hey. Doing good, man. How are you? Awesome. Oh, pepperonis in here. Pepperoni audits. That was BS, man. I'm glad your story um, got told, bro. I'm glad that... Uh, I think it was James Freeman like put it out there for a little more people to see dude and people like picked it up when a sheriff comes up or a deputy comes up a sergeant especially comes up and takes away your equipment and then like arrests you for no reason that's crazy man and then deletes your stuff and then deletes your footage what so I'm glad your story is out there super G's in here what's up If you haven't seen that, everyone go check out uh, Pepperoni Audits, dude. You got straight up violated by the Sheriff's Department out there. Where is that at, uh, Pepperoni? I forgot where that was at. But the Sheriff got, um, the Sheriff was fired. The, d the deputy got fired for that. F 
Florence, South Carolina. Thanks, Pepperoni. Appreciate you. Friggin' ding dong, huh, Katie? Don't ask me he's in the house. John Roner. Edge. What's up, Edge? Hello. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing good. How you doing? 805 in the house. Knowledge is power. LA. Chuck Bronson live. Christian Strombold. So yeah, um while I'm down here, I want to I'm guess I'm putting the word out now. I, I want to uh um, get a couple of uh, cop watches in because during my trial, two officers went on the stand Officer Metz and Officer De La Garrigue, and both of them just sounded ridiculous. And when or if I ever get the transcript, you guys will see just the contempt they have for uh, people that exercise their rights, you know. So, I uh, want to keep an eye on them. Get a couple in, you know? Hey, what, what's your name, man? Hector. Hector. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your attitude, bro. You just got released? You want to air it out? You want to expose them? How was it? Was it cool? No? Hey, I, Ventura County has been nothing but corrupt. I'm here to expose all the government officials and people like that. So if you want to have anything to say exposing people, let them know. No, You're good? All right, All right, man. All right, bro. And I don't, I don't hate all officials. It's just, man, when they show so much contempt for me, like, how am I supposed to feel? You know? I'm sure there's some good ones. Like uh, like Hector over here. He's cool. He's been nothing but cool. He might hate me. I don't know. But he's been cool. Dang, he's going to be my cellmate or what? <laughs> 420. Haiti firm sweet tea audits in the house. How you doing? Good morning to you. Sweet tea, I was on your uh, your gun range, your gun range thing the uh, yesterday. I was checking that out. S L U T observer, how you doing? I know, huh? Dude, S-L-U-T, Observer, your name looks like Slut Observer, just so you know, bro. <laughs> your moniker looks like Slut Observer, and I, you know, I ain't mad at it, but <laughs> just, you know, a little FYI. Alex C, Hippo Jeep. Mini Apple. So, yeah, I'm out here, Ventura. Walking around, checking stuff out. I'm going to give it another, uh, I don't know, a little while longer. Go to the front. Go to the front doors again and uh, see what happens. If you uh, want to see someone come up and, like, uh, be a Karen, you just rewind. There was a security guard that told me I can't do this. Told me I needed a permit in the beginning, like, in the first five minutes. Oh, the front doors are this way. What's up, man? Oh, well, you got to go through the front door over this way. I don't think so. Can you? You know what's up? <laughs> All right, man. This one. Follow this man. He knows what's up.
wonder how many people got educated today. Police in here. Backs to the wall. Let them know we're watching or what? Keeping an eye on them. So yeah, there is an entrance right there. Oh damn. Ventura, that's right. Bolton board? I feel like there's a way bigger flow of people out over on the other side though. Yeah, let's go around. Pass by the cops again. Got the Sarge right here. Got the Sarge. Permits? Do you get permits? Awesome. Keep old Jeep. Whoa. Dang, all stumbling around out here. Shit. Hey, thanks, Minneapolis. Putting the word out, consider supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Frank Evans, Frank Pants. So, uh, when they were uh, sentencing me, they asked the uh, district attorney like what his recommendation was for the amount of jail time. And and the district attorney was like, his name's Cesar Ponce. He's like, clearly he hasn't learned his lesson. We're going to ask for 30 days because, I mean, he's still live streaming. He's still live streaming. He used the fact that I live stream and that I updated you guys against me. And the judge is like, oh, no, I'm going to give him 45 days instead of 30. So it just shows, like, they consider this dangerous or, like, illegal or something. And it's ridiculous. One of the 
police officers that testified said that he was concerned that I had a live stream going because uh, that might bring other people around and other people might hurt him. The officers, <laughs> the officers said that. Officer Metz said that. Ridiculous. He's scared of people coming around with what? With cameras? He said he was really concerned because he was live streaming and that means other people can come and join <laughs> and you know you're sitting there as the defense you just have to hear hear him talk this bs and lie and you just gotta like be cool with it <laughs> you know ah, it's crazy it's really crazy using the fact that I live stream to give me more time. What? Said my live streams are dangerous. What? <laughs> How? The prosecution's main focus wasn't the fact that I pepper sprayed someone. It was the fact that I have a YouTube channel. That was his, it was 80% my YouTube channel being prosecuted and 20% I pepper sprayed a guy. It shows the contempt they have for people walking around with a camera exercising their rights. I really wish I would have recorded it. Anybody want to expose Ventura? Expose him? They got here for a BS reason? No, nah, it's all good. How's it going? Mexican long hair. What? What's up, bro? Eat your broccoli. Daniel. They got you here for a BS reason? Yeah? You want to air it out? Want to expose it? No. Nah? All right. No worries. You too. We got we got three people to come and like tell them tell me what's up with uh, their BS case. What's up, Doug? They got you down here for a BS reason? Huh? They got you down here for some bullshit? You want to expose it? No? Nah? Anybody want to expose it? What's going on? You good? All right. You can let them know how much you don't like them. <laughs> let them know. What are you doing? Uh, just checking it out. What are you doing? All right, going to the court, yeah. Yeah, you want to expose them? Is there BS going on? Yeah. Expose it. Air it out. Really? Yeah, I got a, I got 293 people watching right now. Okay, so I'm here at court today. Yeah. Because an officer said that I had drugs on me. I didn't have drugs on me. Oh, uh, it's BS. So I asked for his webcam or the cam. On they denied his car. you. I don't know. I'm going to the courtroom right now. They denied me. I was arrested here too. They denied me when I uh, requested their. Body yeah, cam footage well, too. I think that everybody should be held accountable, especially authority One hundred percent. I damn. No, I like your attitude there. That's no, cool. Seriously, everybody yeah. should be held accountable. Because I totally agree. Me if I'm accountable. Right. Me, but I'm not. Right. Not only that, but it totally scars my uh, it scars my background. Your reputation, everything. It does. Yeah. It does. Getting a job later on. It does. Yep. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping that the justice system does what it's supposed to be doing, you know. And, I, I hope so, too. Yeah. So then uh, this officer called me a shithead from Oxnard and told me I should stay in my city. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, Do you remember the officer's name? No. Okay. But I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was the sheriff. The sheriff? I believe They so. suck out here, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, good luck to you. I hope that works out.
Mine's Gabriel. Nice to meet you. They got you here for BS? BS reasons? You can air it out. Let me know what's going on. Expose them if you want. Air it out, folks. Is there a BS charge you want to talk about? No? What's up? Oh, I'm just checking it out. Just looking around, man. Kind of showing the audience around. We need to check all of them on how they run this court room here. I agree. At the state. If I can, I want to have the attorney general here. Okay. With that governor, so any of them get out of line, they can remove them right off the bench, everything. Awesome. They have the authority. But the thing is, nobody has the balls to do it because they intimidate people. That's true. I've been a victim of intimidation from Ventura County, too. And the whole thing is, don't preach. Preach what you say you stand for. Mm -hmm. Don't stand here and say one thing and be a hypocrite. I'm a victim of a Brady violation here. They didn't release my evidence for my trial. Yeah? Yeah. Well, see, that's, that's the thing, No, They'll do anything they can to stop. For sure. It's just like with me, police brutality and that stuff that they have. I'm having to see you back in my neck. Yeah. That's 13 and a half hours of Ventura PD and it almost killed me. Oh, Her, no way. Paralyzed me. Hear that? And you see a little slide here? Oh, damn. That's where I got all steel plates put inside me, right here. Wow. Victim of brutality from a Ventura PD or? PD. Yep. And my name's Richard Irwin. Oh, wow. And the greatest thing about that part, my name, it was the greatest attorney there ever was in this county that run the public defender's office, Richard James Irwin. Oh, wow. And all your Perry Mason cases that you see on TV, one third of them were all from his cases from the rest county. And he took down anybody that challenged him. He's one of the only attorneys that went and beat the U.S. Supreme Court two or three times in his lifetime. Wow, okay. So the bottom line is, I stand for what he does because they pulled their step to try to stop it. Okay. And the sad part, like I said, you got that camera, put it on there. I have evidence to prove for murder. Oh, wow. From the district attorney's office. Wow. Who's prosecuting a, you? Huh? You want to give out a name? Who's prosecuting? Well, I don't know. Exactly. Caesar Ponce prosecuted me. But what I'm saying, you look up back in the 90s and look up fraud that, that was ripped off through the hospitals, county hospital, community, who was in the board of directors of their finances, the district attorney, Michael Bradbury, Mr. Toten. Okay. And who were they? The DAs. And Congressman Gagley, I had to go to them because they tried to kill my wife. She finally died because of their negligence. Oh, wow. Onto it. And she was handicapped with diabetes and Man. renal failure. I'm sorry and to hear they, that. Well, they prey on that because when they stole from them, they ripped off onto it to help collect the paper, the revenue here. Okay. And when you go after them, they expose them, they come after you. And that's yeah. what they did me, and I can prove every bit. That's why I want those people in there when they don't do the job, their superiors there, remove them and sue the shit out of them. Hey, uh, my email address is slow, S-L-O, observer, one. Write it down. I don't have a pen on oh. me. But uh, if you have any information, you want to air anything out, let me know, man. Well, Email I, me and... Uh, this right here has enough to fucking open up the attorney general. Okay. Back, right there. Uh, right anywhere? Yeah, just right there. Okay. Yes. Uh, and put your name so I know who it is that I tell you. You don't have to tell me your last name. Just tell me first name, at least when I... My, my name's Gabriel. But see, that's the whole thing. They think they don't. And do you know, this is the whole thing. This is the only county 
only county in the state of California that their police department is not required where it's a federal and a state regulation to have that camera on. Oh, really? So only they, can choose, they can choose not to? Huh? They can choose not to activate no, it? it's a state. They're, they're fighting it in the courtroom to say they have dominion over the court. Wow. And when they think so, the right people get in there with those federal people. Hey, I mean, all you got to do is look up on the internet, but you see superior attorneys. That's the ones that take on anybody. Sure. It may cost you money, or if it publicizes them. I mean, how many people knew who Johnny Cochran ever was? Worldwide to OJ Simpson. Mm -hmm. Right. The money didn't mean nothing. He got that as being paid his rent. But he was a household name backwards. Gotcha. And the whole bottom line is you got to get one and then let them step up and use all their resources. But if you use their state resources because of what they've done, then it will go against them. Okay. And the sad part, nobody should, you know, I fought to keep my wife alive. And like you said, you can take a look at the grave. I show you a document. Well, hey, I appreciate you uh, sharing, man. And shoot me an email if you have anything that you want to, like, expose, okay? Poor Joanne. Right here. She's the one that died? One that died. She died at 50. Oh, no. Yep. And she was on renal failure for 14 years, and I took care of her. And she should have died about eight, seven or eight times because they kept manipulating her. This wow. is the woman that was involved with the district attorney, Donna Guest, and involved with the HA. But look, there's where they told her about their pepper. Okay, here's the overdoses that they covered up. How can a doctor three times overdose the amount of liquid morphine that my wife should never been on? Oh, wow. And they done that by keeping me locked up and lied in the courtroom for two years. And my wife almost died both times two different prescriptions and i went to the da and they said we can't do anything about that damn that sucks dude sorry you know, that. well the thing is why because they were involved with it. and there's the bottles of what it was there too college pharmacy it's got all the evidence right here all that right there and then it shows I had to plead guilty to a charge they couldn't win. What would you do in 1994? Now they trying to use this against me. When four days before this, a woman with her legs amputated at home, not being protected from this county, is given morphine to take on her own. What is she gonna do when she's not right in her mind? She overdosed. My mother found her on the floor, next thing being dead, six days before I went in. And I pleaded guilty to the charge to save my wife's life. Damn, that sucks. You know, and it just goes on and on. Yeah, the corruption shows, man. It and shows. The bottom line is, when they can't answer it, the way I take it is send them to prison and turn the wolves. <laughs> That's right. They can't handle what they send there. They let the wolves in. For sure. And the sad part about it. Hey, somebody says, "Well, why didn't you go to us first? I says, "Hey, I went everything into their their office, but slap them in the mouth to get that attention about my wife, and they denied me, threatened to even arrest me." For bringing it forward. What kind of goddamn department runs this? Corruption, man. And Sorry to hear that. I know, but the thing is, people gotta stay. 
And if you live for anything in your life, you stand for everybody, not for some. And if they can't handle it, bottom line is, get the fuck out of our country. That's the way I look at it. We got regulations we all buy by, no matter who is. No one's above them. For sure. But the thing is, it just ticks me off what they do. Yeah, for sure. It was nice meeting you, man. But Shoot me an email. Hey, you got it. I was hoping you was the media. I am, man. I am media. There's Ventura. almost 300 people watching right now. Uh, Ventura County. Yeah. For documenting the courthouse. Yeah, um, they did me pretty dirty over here, and I just want to expose them. Yeah. I got locked up for uh, defending myself. I pepper sprayed this guy that was getting my face because I had a camera. Um, and I was trying to, like, back up, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all on YouTube, too. You can watch it. That's crazy. So uh, this guy was getting my face. I was like, back up, stop, leave me alone, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes. Hey, just, uh, like, if, if they... For sure. Yeah. I know, I just like, if you have a personal story where how they corrupted you, how something happened to you, like you can expose it. Now's your chance to I air it out. Agree. But if you don't want any personal information, it's all good. I understand. <laughs> the Congress hey, people. All right, here. thanks, man. You have the Congress people. You know what the Congress does? The judge don't do their job that removes the judge. They have authority. And nobody else can do that. Attorney General and the governor can remove a DA. Yeah. That is the law under state California. For sure. But I got you, man. Shoot me an email. Have a good day. Dang, not a lot of proud words about Ventura Courthouse. Doesn't sound good. Sounds like a lot of people are mad out here from the corruption. That ain't good. They already tried to shut me down and said I couldn't record out here because they don't know our rights are. I'm going to cut through right here. Lots of people upset. Lots of people exposing. Wish the state attorney did something about this, huh? Eric D. Johnson. Anybody want to talk about their case? <laughs> Any BS reasons you're here? Want to air it out? No? We got you here for some BS? Yep, I feel you. I'm just documenting the courthouse, showing my audience. They already tried to kick me out because they don't know about our rights. All right, so they got me for acknowledgement at first, and they, they threw that one away, and they tried to be again with a different kind of higher power. Oh, for real? But, yeah, the 60 days for the felony charge came go away. Oh, so damn. they have a 60 days maximum charge with that felony charge when you're arrested. They want to give you that court date. Oh, right, okay. Do you know who's prosecuting you? Do you know the name? Who? Haley. Haley. I know him. Yeah. Hey, or is it Hale? It's Haley? Okay. I know that. Yeah, I know him. Good luck, bro. Lots of people. Lots of people airing it out, man. I came here for an opportunity for them to share their story, too, you know? Because a lot of times when you come here and you kind of get like violated by the court system, not a lot of people know about it, you know? It's just kind of like under wraps. You don't have an outlet like I do to air it out and like let people know what's going on. So that's another reason I'm here today is to let people like share their story, man. How have you been violated, you know? And to advise the jurors Take it seriously. So yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. 
How you doing? Doing okay. How are you? Doing good. Tony Sweet in the house. NLS. Edge. You can air it out. Hit me up. Shoot me an email. If you want to expose something. <laughs> Doesn't have to just be Ventura. Uh, I got I got people sending me emails. A lot of times it's like uh, they want me to click a link or something. Or they want me to call them. And just so you know, if you guys email me a phone number, I'm not going to call you. I don't have a burner phone like that. The only way I would call you is if I had like a burner phone. And maybe I should get one, but... You know, I'm not going to call random phone numbers, sorry. So if you emailed me with a phone number, I'm sorry, I'm not going to call you. And if you emailed me a link, I'm not going to click on your link. Just for, you know, safety. So. If you have anything, though, what's up, man? If you have anything you want to expose, let me know. Shoot me an email. Paul R., do district attorneys have oaths of office? Fuck, I don't know. That's a good question, Paul R. Eric D. Johnson. You can block your... You can block your number? That's true, yeah. Just for safety, I don't give out my phone number. If the trolls got a hold of it, oh man. <laughs> Crazy. Viral shedding zombie. Juries can nullify a prosecution. They can't change law. Okay. Digital connected media. Alex C. Jury is a powerful jury is as powerful as the Supreme Court. Perhaps more you can reject the law. Get some. Okay. Beth Meadows, call me. <laughs> Sheep show. Hey, what are you doing, Sheep Show? <laughs> Well, cool. We got some. Uh... Are the news here? I'm I'm here. I'm here with the news. Yeah, you got. You want to expose anything? No. They did me dirty out here in Ventura. I was telling people about it, and I'm letting people share their story if they want to. I I was prosecuted for walking around with a camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Here? Yeah. In Ventura. The yep, Ventura PD. Oh, yeah? For what? For, okay, I have a DUI when I was 21. Okay. Um, I had a white car, but the same officer would always pull me over and pull me over. You were targeted. And it was crazy, because how did he know I had a warrant? I'm not a criminal. I had a warrant for not showing up to pay the ticket. Yeah. But he was white and racist. When they, when they get... ever since then, I've been, like, I still haven't gotten my license. I'm for sure. Lie. Yeah. I'm trying and trying, but... The test, switching the test, because I practice and practice. I don't know if I'm dumb or not, but <laughs> I can't pass it. I'm so tired of it. For sure. Because court consumes my fucking time. Oh, I know. I feel you. I've been there. And yeah. It's crazy. No, I don't have anything else to say, but Automax and Ventura, they ripped me off. Automax? Automax. Okay. Guy. Hey, yeah. do you know the officer that's been targeting you? Do you know his name? No, I don't. No? It's all good. Yeah, but he's always targeting me. And it's crazy because I'm not a criminal. I, I got arrested um, the last time he pulled me over. Yeah. Because I talked back to him. I told him, okay, because um, he said a pedestrian was walking, crossing the sidewalk. There was no pedestrian. He just pulled me over just to pull me over. Oh, uh, okay. And I told him, you're a police officer. If you say it's white, it's white. If it's red, it's red. Right. Uh, it, there's no winning. It's so, you against the it's officers. It's against me. Yeah. So they take... Um, I'm with you on this yeah. because they take advantage of their power. Totally. And it's fucking cool for us because we're the criminals. Right. We're the fucking criminals without being committing any crime. Yeah. And after that one arrest, they're going to keep going after you whenever they see you. You know? And that's been happening yeah. to me. So it's not in my head. No. You're targeted once you get arrested. 
you are from then on targeted. Yeah, yes, because sometimes uh, I'd be leaving my house with the kids and the officer. Only the motorcycle cops pull me over. Not the other ones. Only that one. I would keep a phone on you at all times and try to record I any kind record? of... Yeah. Oh, of course. Really? That, yeah. We all have the right to record freedom of press. Even if they pull you out of the car, keep your phone on you, keep it running. And, you know, so if they... they could hear the voice. Yeah. there's been officers who, like, shoot people without even... Without... With... You know? Right. Sometimes I want to become a fucking officer to... Come, <laughs> come at them? Yeah, yeah. It's I got you. That sucks. I hope it works out for you. So now you have a criminal record. Yeah. Of the... Yeah. Oh, just walk. I mean, I was I was walking around. So I could you? Oh yeah, Slow County Observer on YouTube. The my arrest I'll was. Her on TikTok. Oh, for real? Yeah. Nice. Do you want to shout it out or? Oh yeah. Let me. But always record. Anytime a police approaches you, record it. You want to tell them something? Sure. Slow County Observer. Oh, oh man, I gotta redo it. I'm gonna need a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. Ready? All right, Slow County Observer on YouTube out here exposing the Ventura Courthouse court officials. Uh, know your rights, exercise your rights. That's all I gotta say. You heard him. <laughs> That's right, Slow County Observer. <laughs> Have a good one. Dang, am I going to go viral on TikTok? <laughs> all right, all right. I ain't mad at it. Well, cool. We got some people out here discussing, sharing their stories. And that's what I wanted to do. I don't have a TikTok. Just YouTube. I should, huh? I should do it. How you doing, man? You an employee? Oh, you're an attorney? Like freelance? Oh, okay. Can I cool. Ask what you're doing? Oh, I'm just documenting the courthouse. They oh, did me dirty okay. out here and I was exposing them oh, and okay. letting people share their story. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you know a Brady violation? Uh, I'm not sure. It's when they like withhold evidence from you that they have and they don't let you use it in their court case. Oh. That's what happened to me. So oh, I'm pretty mad about it. <laughs> That's why I said hi to you earlier. I was like, I thought you were like a or something. Oh, no. No, I'm just out here. With a camera. All right, man. How's it going? You too. Brady violation. My attorney is going to be pissed at me. I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> My attorney is going to be pissed at me. Um. All right. So two hours. Been out here for two hours, guys. Um. Said everything I wanted to say. I'm still in Ventura. I'm gonna cruise a little bit, see what's going on, get a little bit of food, some grub, and uh, yeah. So, uh, she didn't shout out her TikTok name. Oh, I just realized that she didn't shout out her her TikTok. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, guys. I'm still in Ventura. I'm gonna cruise around. I'm gonna try to get some cop watches. Even though, even though now they know, uh, fuck it. Let's see what happens, all right? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you if you donated and I didn't notice it. I appreciate you. Big B, Mini Apple, President Santa. Much appreciated, folks. What's up, man? You guys are awesome, and I'll see you soon, all right? Thanks for tuning in. Later.